calor. In today's easy boat recipe, I'm going to show you guys how to make delicious seared tuna steaks. Tuna isn't one of those things that people typically are lucky enough to catch and all that stuff. But when you are cruising, you will come into a harbor, which will be a fishing village probably. And there will be a local fish market where you can get some fresh from that day, very bloody, fresh tuna steaks. These are the ingredients you need. Mustard, cracked pepper, mayonnaise, onion, and of course the tuna. It's a very simple recipe. We're gonna be searing the tuna in a pan for easiness sake. To make this even easier and even fewer dishes to clean up afterwards, we're actually going to prepare the tuna in the pan that we're gonna be cooking it in. The first thing you're gonna do is just take a big spoonful of mayo. You just wanna set out like a little glob per tuna steak and just kinda thin it out, make it be there. After you have enough mayo for each little steak that you're gonna do, just smear it around, cover the whole bottom, and now it's full of mayo. I hope you like mayonnaise. <laughs> now that everything's covered in mayo, just gonna crack some pepper onto the bottom of this. Crack pepper forever. And now we're gonna lay the tuna on this. All right, we're just gonna dice this onion up, super small, that way no one even knows it's there. The next step is mustard. You want to shake it? Shake it, shake it first. Don't want that mustard pee. Maddie says it's got to shake it first. No. Maricha! Oh my god, no. Really embarrassing. In case you thought you were done with the mayo, you are wrong. Oh my gosh. Here comes more mayo. <laughs> That's an awful lot of mayo, babe. Yes. Yes, it is. Now, you don't need to cover the steak completely, because as the mayo heats up, it's going to melt into it. And for the last step, crack pepper forever. Now on a large flame, the hottest you got, you put the tuna. And put a lid. Now you're searing the tuna, you're not cooking the tuna. So this is really quick, it's a couple minutes, and then you're gonna flip it, and a couple more minutes, and then you're done. Now it's starting to make all those delicious sounds. So it's getting nice and hot. You'll start seeing the uh, mayo melt. It's been about three minutes. And they're looking good. When the tuna is cooked, you see the top turns white, and then you know it's good to go. I'm just going to flip them just to let the bottom sear a little bit, too. Only need about yeah. 10 seconds here. Yeah, this is super fast. This is just to brown it just a smidge. And we're pretty good. That's 10 seconds. <laughs> it's so delicious. Mm, nothing like fresh seared tuna. So it's important to remember you are not cooking the tuna, you are searing it. So if you leave it on there for a long time or with low heat, it's going to cook all the way through and it's just, sadly you ruined it. So high heat, short time. Just burn the outsides, leave the inside raw. And it's just so delicious. Mm. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map, receive postcards from our ports of call and messages directly to the boat, you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below.